We're in section 6.3, and this is example 3. The amount of calories in a popular store-bought cake, bought cake mix and frosting cupcake um, is normally distributed with a mean of 300. So as soon as I see normally distributed, I'm going to go ahead and draw the normal curve. With a mean of 300, that tells me that 300 is in the middle. And a standard deviation of 17. 0.15. What percentage of these cupcakes are between 290 and 320 calories? So we draw the normal curve. We'll shade the area. So 290 is somewhere under 300. 320 is somewhere above 300. We'll just approximate just to get a little bit of a visual. And we'll shade the area in between because between. Perfect. So we can use normal CDF to find z-scores, but first we need the z-score. So let's go ahead and find z-score. Looks like we have two z-scores, one for each. So we have z is equal to 290 minus 300 over 17.15. And then my other z-score will be 320 minus 300 over 17.15. So let's find those two z-scores. So 290 minus 300, because that's the mean, divided by 17.15. And I get it about negative 0.583 for the first one. Second one, we'll do the same thing. 320 minus 300, enter, divide by 17.15. And we get a z-score of about 1.166. And now that we have z-scores, we can use normal CDF. So if we were on the standard normal curve, we'd be in between these two z-scores. So now we can find area by using normal CDF. So first is z-scores, second is normal CDF, because that'll tell us area or percent. Negative 0.583 is my lower, upper is 1.166. No infinities here, because we're in between two numbers. And we're using normal CDF because we want to find the area. So second distribution, lower is negative 0.583 up to 1.166. And we get an area of 0.5982, which is also the same as probability. And since we're asking for percent in this one, I would interpret this as 59.82%. All right, let's try one more example. Um, we're going to look at those rattlesnakes again. They're normally distributed, so I'm going to immediately draw that curve. I swear drawing the curve makes a difference every time. We'll put 42 in the middle for a mean of 42. So mu is 42 and a standard deviation of two. And x will be the length of a rattlesnake selected at random. What's the probability that x is greater than 45? So p of x greater than 45 means we want area or probability. So area 45 greater than means the right, so to the right. So before we can use normal CDF, we need z-score. Looks like there's only one z-score in this example because we're going to infinity. So my z-score will be 45 minus the mean of 42 all over 2. And I went, I'll go ahead and do that, and I got 1.5. So z equals 1.5. So all of these we're imagining we're converting to that standard normal curve with 0 in the middle and then 1.5 instead. So we're standardizing regular data. And by standardizing, we're allowed to use normal CDF to find area. So we're going to do normal CDF. My lower is 1.5. My upper is infinity, so 10 to the 99. Anytime we just keep going, we use infinity. And that'll tell us the probability, and then we'll interpret as well. 
1.5 up to 10 to the 99. And I got point oh six six eight. So that's probability. Let's try to interpret it. So interpret means write a sentence, a sentence that anyone can understand, even someone who's not in stats class. So this tells us 6.68% from the probability. And then what are we talking about? We're talking about rattlesnakes. So 6.68% of these Western rattlesnakes are, and then what, are longer than 45 inches. Longer for the greater than symbol, 45 inches, because everything was in inches. And that is how you would interpret.